What is up guys? So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a video on this guy right here, which is a mostly kind of beat up IBM ThinkPad X41 tablet PC. So I was, I originally got this like a long time ago, but I haven't made a video on it since now because it had, uh, I think it had Ubuntu Linux on it and I just never got around to making a video with it. And uh, I was going to plan on putting Windows XP on it. But a viewer by the name of Bailey Rodriguez actually contacted me and said that they had the original, like all of the original ISOs restore disks for this computer that will, you know, obviously make all the tablet functions and everything work as intended, which I thought was really appealing. Of course, it is the factory install, so it did, you know, install a bunch of bloatware on top of that, but that can always be removed. Obviously, it's the uh, Windows XP Tablet PC Edition, because that's what this came with. And yeah, so he sent me all of the ISOs for that, for this computer, and there were, total, there were a total of nine. So I had to make nine CDs to restore this guy. And I just used this USB drive, USB uh, DVD drive to interface with it, because it doesn't have any optical drive of any sort. So, yeah, so now that I've gotten that out of the way, I just wanted to finally make a video on this now that it's a complete machine. So here we go. This is uh, obviously, this is from about 2005-ish. This was right when Lenovo and uh, IBM were merging. So there's an IBM logo there. And I believe there is some more Lenovo. Uh, well, there's Lenovo references at the very least in the software. So that's kind of, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about, you know, the Lenovo IBM ThinkPad thing. I think the IBM ThinkPads were way better than the Lenovo ones, and I honestly just do not like Lenovo as a company because they make cheap Chinese garbage. So, as you can see right there, yeah, that's that's where it was. It's obviously it says Lenovo, and then it says IBM ThinkPad here. So, they had to get their their edge in there somewhere. Obviously, being from 2005, this is not a high end machine. This is a Pentium M, and it has like a gig of RAM, I think. On the side, I guess we can go over the ports. Whoops, I accidentally just turned it on, but that's okay. So we have our power port, VGA, USB, I believe. I'm not, I'm actually not even sure what that is. Someone will tell me in the comments because, you know, that's what you guys just do. Obviously, it's booting up, and it, it's going to make that error because the hard disk in there is not qualified for use, which is absolutely freaking retarded. That is an SD card slot. Wow, I did not expect that on this type of machine. You got your uh, PC card, your headphones, microphone, USB, Ethernet, and 56K. Also have a Kensington lock there. Now, I, I do not know the condition of the battery. Obviously, it works enough to turn the machine on, but just because I don't know how long it'll run, I'm going to plug it in. Let's get this bad boy up and running. No touchpad, which I kind of don't like. I am not a big fan of the nipple mouse, but obviously that's kind of a signature thing with IBM ThinkPads, so... Not a big deal. It does have the old style IBM ThinkPad keyboard that people seem to love so much. And there's a Wi-Fi switch on the front, I believe. That's either a Wi-Fi switch or, no, yeah, that's gotta be a Wi-Fi switch. This is where your hard drive goes, and I believe it takes a 1.8 inch hard drive, so that's kind of, it's kinda like, it's like a 2.5, but it's like half the height, if you understand what that means. So let's say we have a hard drive like this. The the one inside this machine is about, about this long, so kind of weird but there we are we are in the windows xp now i don't have a wacom uh, pen for this i did not get that with it so i can't really demo any of the tablet features but i can at least boot up the computer and show you guys you know what's up and down with it of course the screen does turn around like this and then you can go ahead and put it like that and use it in tablet form which you know i would be doing if i had the pen i might have to go on ebay and see if i can find a pen for for this for <clears throat> a reasonable price and obviously you may be able to tell it's not very fast so uh, there's the on-screen keyboard looks like it's about to finally log in but being you know such a low-end machine and being this is the factory install it's not gonna be quick at all so I'll just come back when it's actually logged in now I did end up you know obviously being a fresh system restore it did actually play you know the windows xp intro music and you had a personalized version of the windows xp you know first setup which i can actually input into the video and i, I guess i can go do that like right after i finish talking here but that was really cool i thought that was a nice touch i mean obviously 
you know, being a factory install, it's going to have that. But I guess I can roll that actually right now because I did record a short clip for it. booting up it's kind of slow obviously as you can see it's not the fastest especially with a crapped up uh, system install but as you can see we all the drivers are obviously installed everything works I wish I could demo the pen features but I might have to you know make an, an appended video once I get a pen for this if I end up doing this. so so wow that lag is strong okay well okay so that that's pretty much what what's going on here I guess Wow, this is not a good demo at all. Guess I better wait some more. Really? You think? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Semantic Antivirus Corporate Edition. Still crappy any way you put it. Of course, again, you can just see the amount of bloatware on this machine right here. But it is what it is. Where did my mouse go? Okay, there it went. So let's go ahead and pull up these system properties because that's pretty much all I can do. Oh, it's trying to get me to set this up to but I'm not gonna because I do not care. So there we go. Obviously it has all the OEM stuff in, which is cool. Tablet PC edition 2005, version 2002. Service pack two, hmm. I don't know if there was a service pack three for tablet PC edition. Again, somebody in the comments will probably tell me. But we have a Pentium M 1.6 gigahertz. Oh, it's running in the uh, low power mode. That might be why it's so damn slow. Might have to adjust the settings. And a gig of RAM, of course, so. That's cool. Let's see what it says in support information. Your usual bullshit. Okay. And I believe it also has a 40 gig hard drive, so it's not super impressive, but pretty standard for the time period, I suppose. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, 32. Counting the uh, system restore partition that it probably has, that's pretty normal. So... Yeah, other than that, there's really not much different about this version of XP besides, you know, obviously the tablet features and, of course, all of the pre-installed system programs. Holy crap, okay, there's a lot. So PC Doctor for Windows, oh my god, this is going back in time. Wow. Alright, well, anyway, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this computer. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.